writer of 13 of the 27 books of the New Testament, chosen to be an apostle to the Gentiles, beaten, whipped, stoned, imprisoned in Rome, deserted by most of his friends. Paul finishes what is to be his last letter to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers, night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hand. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to the light through the gospel, unto which I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. For which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwelleth in us. This thou knowest, that all they who are in Asia turned away from me of whom are for jealous and her much needs. The Lord give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me. The Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in that day. 
and in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus, thou knowest very well. Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard from me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth and tangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The farmer that laboreth must be the first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer even unto bonds. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believeth not, Yet he abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a gangrene, of whom are Hymenius and Philetus. have heard saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having the seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man, therefore, purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, 
sanctified and fit for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Flee also, youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, love, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they breed strifes and the servant of the Lord must not strive. But be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose him. If God, perhaps, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unlawful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those things that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of it from such turn away. For of this sort are they who creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with various lusts, <laughs> ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Janes and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, patience, persecutions, afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Oconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. But out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall become worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast burned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God 
They be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be diligent in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. The time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Do thou diligence to come shortly unto me. For as Demas hath forsaken me, Having loved this present world and is departed unto Thessalonica, Cratians to Galatia, Titus into Dalmatia, only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. And Tychicus have I sent to Ephesus. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books but especially the parchments. <sighs> Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works, of whom do thou beware also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. my first defense, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me until his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Greet Prisca and Aquila and the household of Onesiphorus. Erastus abode at Corinth, but Trophimus have I left at Miletus sick. Do thou diligence to come before winter. Eubulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. According to tradition,
Sometime in the winter of 67 AD, Paul was taken from his cell to the outskirts of Rome, where, as a Roman citizen, he was accorded the honor of being beheaded instead of the agony of the cross. The crowds would have been attracted by the sight of the execution squad. Perhaps if Timothy and Mark had reached Rome in time, Luke certainly would have been there. But instead of the sounds of weeping, there would have been sounds of rejoicing. Oh, 